Jumping off a moving bus is dangerous, so the conscious decision to make the jump evokes a wild sense of thrill. Jumping off the edge of a spinning carousel is the nine-year-old version of this daring move. In such moments, the individual has something known as tangential velocity. To begin with, a tangent is simply a line that touches a function at only a single point. The term function is used to define any nonlinear curve. It represents an equation, a relationship between the coordinates x and y on a two-dimensional graph. For instance, consider the curve that we're most familiar with, the good old circle. A circle is defined by the equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared. This means that for a constant radius, r, specific values of x and y trace out a splendid arc that will eventually meet its own end. As the name suggests, Tangential velocity describes the motion of an object along the edge of this circle, whose direction at any given point on the circle is always along the tangent to that point. However, this concept is not restricted to uniform circular motion. It also applies to all nonlinear motion. If an object moves from point A to point B through a nonlinear curve, then the red arrows represent the tangential velocity at various points on this trajectory. The linear component of angular velocity is known as linear velocity, which is the rate of change of an object's linear displacement. We realize that the velocity is the product of the object's angular velocity and the radius of the circle it traces. It is imperative to know the tangential velocity is a vector, that is, it has both size and direction. Vectors are indicated by an arrow above their standard symbol. Although their direction changes continuously, their total value remains the same. Each vector is a cross or the vector product of two vectors, which is the multiplication of their magnitudes and the sine of the angle between them. The resulting vector has a direction perpendicular to both involved vectors. The two vectors whose product we require are the radius r and the angular velocity w. The right-hand rule states that if you hold the axis with your right hand and rotate the fingers in the direction of motion of the rotating body, your thumb will point in the direction of the angular velocity and as the sine of 90 is 1, the resulting perpendicular vector of these quantities at any point on the circle will remain the same. Interestingly, objects in or on the circle have the same angular velocity, but different tangential velocities. This is due to the unit's dependence on the radius. Therefore, people at the rim of a merry-go-round would fly off at greater velocities than those seated deeper inside. Tangential velocity can be observed in many cases, including any nonlinear motion, such as an abrupt jump from a swing, or the deviation of a satellite, or the Earth itself, from its circular orbit. However, if the Earth or the Sun suddenly disappeared, we would break our cycle and be instantly flung into space due to our linear speed. That motion draws a straight line through a point in space and time that marks the immediate instant where the pull of gravity disappeared, otherwise known as a tangent.